Oh, and then I gotta act, wait for a motherfucking 20, 30 days to Excuse get my damn dog I'm gonna tripping. go in here one more time. But your dog got fat. Oh, got him. <laughs> Dude, he was in. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> I have 11 kids. Yeah. Why aren't they all here? Are you projecting any COVID uh, mandates coming up for this winter? The amount of money that we make uh, running the business the right way is, is just ungodly. If, uh, that was Pretty much anything that looks super fucked up, oh, yeah. um, I'm kind of just gonna stop and pan on it and. Okay, you gonna pan that shit? Yeah, there's a there's a lot of fucked up stuff with this house, so. <laughs> That's what I was saying. This one's gonna be a fun one. Yep. Man, they can cut footage or whatever they want to do. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll catch our uh, our little mouse friend. That would be sweet. Possibly come out to join us. Did you get that right there? Yeah. Okay. Are you projecting any COVID? Uh, mandates coming up for this winter? No, I think landlords, uh, I think landlords are pretty well over uh, COVID related issues, right? COVID was rough. Uh, COVID was tough, right? I mean, I got through it. A lot of other people got through it, but to say landlords didn't come out of COVID damaged, uh, you know, that's not the case. That's a drastic understatement. I mean, the, the real victims, the real landlords that became extreme victims of the COVID situation uh, were landlords, they weren't the big corporate overlords, right, that everybody wants you to believe is bad, the big evil uh, monopoly guy landlords. Uh, that's not the majority of landlords in the United States of America. The majority of landlords in the United States of America are just regular mom and pop people uh, who work very hard at their day job and they own between one and five rental properties. Those are the people uh, that got hit hard by COVID, right? These are people that, you know, they don't have uh, a huge set of reserves in the bank. Little leftover McDonald's nuggets <laughs> there for you. Boarded up windows, it's always a good sign. Yep. Yeah. It's the first thing I saw when I rolled up. Let me get this bottle here. Oh, yeah. Oh, got him. <laughs> Dude, he was in the fucking splash. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, that was perfect. That actually made Holy me shit. jump, not gonna lie. <laughs> I saw you jump and leave me. I was like, fuck. <laughs> that is not where I expected oh, him to be. Man, I could not have worked out any better. Yeah. Bitch, I know you don't I care. Don't I don't give a fuck if you care. Bitch. 
What did they could be throwing the well, shit down I, on there? I don't give I, a fuck. That's the stuff on the front stairs is mine, but everything else isn't mine. Well, my signs go ahead. They're not like Holton Wise. They don't have freaking thousands of units in this, like, you know, big, big company that's just churning out income in various ways, right? These are people that, you know, you got four tenants and the government tells you, hey, none of these people need to pay money to live in your house and there's nothing you can do about it for, in some places, two, three years, right? Like, Upstairs we go. Fuck, there's another one. Oh yeah, upstairs. Yeah. Probably the old family. On each floor. Another one in that room. <laughs> think I got think I got him on camera running across. It's showtime little guys. Definitely multiple. I can hear them banging around there. Yeah, there's gotta be a good amount of them. Another one? Yep. Jesus. Probably like a whole family of those fuckers. Oh yeah, the whole neighborhood. I think at least three or four, because there was one in, there's another one right there. There's <laughs> yeah. another one in the closet. Let me see if I can. <laughs> Put my balls in a cage, like I don't want to get. <laughs> you don't gotta be scared, bro. I know, we, we've been down here twice, man. We're not gonna mess with you. You're safe. <laughs> You're a good boy. in certain areas of California. We're like two and a half, almost three years removed from that. Those are the landlords that got wiped out. Man. These are the people uh, that have been legislated into friggin' into financial ruin, man. And it's, it's just really sad to see uh, what's happening. And it, it's just sad to see some of the, the housing policies and some of these fucking liberal shithead politicians are doing, right? And you know, this is another thing, right? I, I talk about politics on on this show and on a couple of my other shows, right? Like I got a couple of shows where in general what I'm doing is, you know, I'm just selling real estate. I'm selling investment real estate. And uh, we, we talk about things as they come up and we talk about the investment and, and outside. I don't think he has anywhere to go, does he? I don't think so.
factors that are going to affect that investment on those shows. And politics often plays a very huge role in that. So I'm discussing politics on that show more often than not. And you get people all the time like, what does politics have to do with real estate? Keep your politics out of it. Blah, blah, blah. They're just running their mouths. And it's like, bro, what are you fucking doing, man? You, you more than anybody need to pay attention to the things that I am telling you on this show. Because if you think being a landlord, if you think politics do not play a massive role into how you operate your business, you are, you got your fucking head in the sand. You have no idea uh, what it is that you're doing because politics plays a role in every single thing that us as landlords do. If you don't believe me, take a look at those poor bastards living in California who can't evict their tenants almost three years removed from the start of the COVID pandemic. And tell me politics doesn't have anything to do with being a landlord. Alex, I'm gonna get a little more pull out of this. You need more slack? Yeah. Alright, hold on. Um, so basically they, they stole some things out of here that were probably shark bites that they could get, get their hands on on the water lines and just endless water in here. Uh, also they stole the furnace. The amount of money that we make uh, running the business the right way is, is just ungodly. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.